Hey there peeps, it's me again and I'm back for another video. So if you could take a look at my t-shirt. So it's Binance. So I printed it in a mall. Of course, this is a dry fit quality. So it's a customized Binance t-shirt, by the way. Okay, so my topic for today, guys, is all about the difference between Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. So I know you guys are so freaking sick and tired about the uncontrollable exorbitant gas fees of Ethereum. Just like me, of course. I did share a post on my Facebook. Of course, it's not from my page, but from my personal Facebook account that I have paid a lot for the gas fees alone. So in my first case, when I traded a token on Uniswap, so I think for the approval fee, I think it was like um, it was like fifteen dollars, and then when it's time for me to pay gas fees, I think it's like thirty dollars. So overall, I I, I paid forty five, forty seven something. And in my second swap with a different token, it's much higher. So combining the approval and the transaction fee on Ethereum. So I paid like almost $60 in gas fees. Ouch. <laughs> but good thing that the token that I have back then has way more value than the gas fees. You know what I mean? And it's good enough if you have a big amount of uh, tokens with a big amount of value. So, but it's a downside for small traders. Like if you only have a certain number of tokens and... If you want to trade it on Uniswap, like the gas fees, the gap between the uh, total amount of your tokens and the gas fees are, you know, um, are closer. So that's that's my experience, by the way. You know, when I have transferred my IOST token to Binance, um, the fee was like $14, but the amount of IOST is only worth $13 so that's really stupid of me but I still did it because of the Dawn airdrop and of course Binance is one of those who are supporting the Dawn airdrop so yeah it's worth the risk anyway so that's the thing guys we are so sick and tired of this uh, gas fees you know it's the biggest downside of Ethereum right now currently Ethereum is at 1526 so if I'm going to refresh that so you can see the low, the average, and the high gas fees. So per transaction, of course, uh, if you're going for the low one, so that's almost $5. And for the average, 5.6. High is 6. Okay. And, uh, you know, this is truly painful if you are going to receive an ERC20 token and if you want to exchange it. You can see the fees right here. 15, 17, 18 and for swapping a token yeah this is very painful Aww. so yeah it's 47 dollars only for the low part average is 53 high is 57 and for adding or removing liquidity okay or lp so you can see the fees and the top 50 guest guzzlers of course uniswap is the number one Tether, number two, and this one, one inch USD coin, and others as well. So, this is a big downside for Ethereum right now, and it's really uncontrollable these days. But the true winners right now are the Ethereum miners. They are enjoying the high gas fees. My goodness, I wish I could be an Ethereum miner. Where could I buy one anyway? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is really painful, you know, especially for you know, for projects who are relying on the Ethereum blockchain. So let's say you are doing a token sale and your token is under Ethereum. And when it comes to dis distribution, of course, uh, it would delay because of this exorbitant gas fees. So the same thing goes for airdrop and bounty distribution. You know, in my own instinct, you now for those of you who have participated in an airdrop and bounty programs... You know, in those projects that are running under the Ethereum network, of course, well, it might take you a long while to receive your tokens is because of this ridiculous high gas fees on Ethereum. Aww. Yeah, so the only thing 
for ethereum right now to bring them back to relevancy you know in terms of gas fees is the f 2.0 so right now ethereum is using the proof of work so yeah it's mineable but if it's going to 2.0 it will transition from proof of work to proof of stake so that means when proof of stake commands on F 2.0, you will have no problem anymore on these um, ridiculous gas fees that we are experiencing right now. Ethereum's value is going high, but the gas fees are also mooning. So this is the reality. So if I'm going to refresh it once again. So I think the highest that I've encountered so far was like, you know, 600 for the high level. So I think that time it was more than $20 for a high gas fee and double digits for low and average as well this is really crazy man you know i've been a long supporter of ethereum but if this continues guys of course um these projects especially especially DeFi projects are going to consider switching from ethereum to other blockchains and speaking of the other blockchains one of them is the binance smart chain so let's talk about binance smart chain by the way so you can see right here bsc scan okay so the current price 234 so i'm going to refresh that so you can see the latest transactions let me give you guys you know an example first we go to ether scan so let's try to compare no disrespect okay so you can see the latest transaction okay for this guy right here who has transacted 1.79477 ethereum okay we can see that uh we can see the tax hash so he transferred it to kucoin so the value is this one but the gas fees of course 5.77 180.7 gy yes okay and uh let's see the other one right here let's see um 1.122 f so let's check the uh, text hash. Okay. So you can see right here, guys, swap. He is using Uniswap. So yeah, swap 1.122 Ether for this one. So let's check the token that he has swapped. So that's Everest, guys. That's Everest. Price right now is 0 0.56. It's really painful in your pocket right now. So let's see. So he swapped from Uniswap right here. Okay, for this one. The value is this. And the transaction fee is 34.52. My goodness. So you can see all the transactions. So either they're going for Uniswap, Kyber contract, one inch exchange, and so on. Mostly Uniswap. So assuming that you only have like 300 of these. So... Let's see, that's 20 minutes ago. So, from Uniswap to wrap Ethereum. So, he swapped 0.116 Ethereum for 300 Everest. Yes. And you can see the transaction fee 18.94. Oh my goodness. One transaction on Uniswap. But that's okay because he is like 176. So minus 18.94 so it still gets like 158 or something however if it's lower than that well sorry to say it's not gonna be worth it that's the reality right now okay guys let's try the binance smart chain so we are now on the binance smart chain explorer so um you can see right here he has transferred like um 112 bnb so let's uh let's check how much uh, feed did he pay so that's 3.92 okay Let's compare. So that's eight seconds ago. He is adding liquidity to Pancake Swap. So add 3.925 BNB and 70.38 ICE to Pancake Swap. So the tokens transferred right here. The value is 921.69. But guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this. The transaction fee is only 46 cents. You see the difference? 46 cents. My goodness, this is why a lot of projects right now are switching from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. No disrespect though, unless Ethereum has something to do, like they want to launch Ethereum 2.0 right away, of course, there will be no problem in terms of these uh, exorbitant transaction fees or gas fees. See the difference guys, only 46 cents. 
So you could save gas fees if you want to transfer, or you can provide liquidity, or you can swap using the pancake swap. You can see right here 5.2279 BNB from pancake swap router. So let's try the um let's check the transaction hash. So he swapped 5.18226 BNB for 176 steam on pancake swap. And um, you know, here's the progress. So the value is 1227.25. But look at the transaction fee, it's only 38 cents. Wow. You know, you know, in my own prediction, in my own prediction, guys, most of the DeFi projects, maybe in more months to come, they will be switching or choosing the Binance Smart Chain instead of Ethereum. Because these DeFi projects, guys, they want to save transaction fees. I have nothing against Ethereum, by the way. I highly respect Ethereum. But this is the reality right now because of the exorbitant gas fees that we are experiencing, okay? I know this is really frustrating, but as long as Ethereum 2.0 is not yet launched, this would remain a problem in more months and years to come. I hate to say this, guys, but, you know, Binance Smart Chain is currently the best option right now if you want to save fees, okay, in terms of swapping or providing liquidity or so on or those startups who want to save fees so no hard feelings for ethereum by the way but i just see that most of the DeFi projects are now aiming to use the binance smart chain because we could save fees all right anyway so this is all for now thank you so much for tuning in to this video i hope you've learned something about it so if you think that this video is quite helpful and informative Finally, don't hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your crypto, blockchain, and DeFi friends out there. And of course, I'm inviting you all to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for to stay notified about my latest videos regarding cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology, and DeFi. And you can follow my social media channels right here or in my YouTube description. Okay, guys, from my freaking home studio, this is Jeff, aka Nomad Fury, and see you all on my next video.